Hello everybody, this is Street Gamer back to kick off round 3 of Group G matches. And yes, this could be an important round for Group G because we will see N no, Team Asia taking on Maximum Pyrus, formerly known as Anton Gushan, and he wanted to change his name. And I'm not going to do it for anyone else, so don't even so don't bother asking, okay? <laughs> now that we got that out, out of the way, we will see Team Asia going up against Maximum Pyrus. MEJP10 taking on Engineer Gaming, and the big one in this match prob in probably, Ultimate Dino Queen taking on Cryo Nova. Um, well, this could be an important game with both a chance for both of them to close the gap on Ultimate Dino Queen. So, let's get on with it. Alrighty then, in this opening match we will see Team Asia taking on Maximum Pyrus. Up first for Team Asia we have an Erdanoceratops. Was mightily impressive in the victory over MEJP10 last time out for Team Asia. Can its tie moves, combo, synergy stuff work for it again? Anyway, in the blue corner for Maximum Pyrus, we have a Shunasaurus. Oof. So I'm just looking at OBS. <laughs> it's lagging a bit. That's not good. Anyway, watch out for that Hydro Cutter, could do a lot of damage. Although, the Shunasaurus will be at a tight disadvantage against this Erdanoceratops. Uh, this could be an... I feel like this type of advantage could be key. Ooh, that's a tie. That's just what Team Asia wants. Although, the Erdanoceratops took a bit of damage. Oh, here comes Plasma Anchor! You can see that tie defense, tie attack, plasma anchor synergy combo there working a treat. Pew! Boosh! Yeah, look at that. All that from ties and well, from plasma anchor as well. Ooh, but the Shunasaurus does reply with a hit, and because technically the Shunasaurus didn't lose that round, the Hydro Cutter was never triggered. Go away! Sorry, someone messaged me on Steam. I'll deal with them later. Ooh, a big hit from the Shunasaurus, and the Erdanoceratops is hanging on by a thread. Oh, but the Erdanoceratops, though, getting that crit, and oh, he took it out. Impressive from Team Asia, as they hold a narrow lead. Alrighty then, up next we have a Lan Lanzusaurus. And again, as I said before, watch out for that super impact as it will pack a punch. Um, I should also mention that the winner the winner of this match will have a chance to close the gap on Ultimate Dino Queen. A bonus point win for either of these two will put them level on points with her. Ooh, not good for Ma not good for Pyrus. I'm just gonna say Pyrus. Oh. Well, the Adanoceratops definitely did its job and took away almost half of Lanzusaurus' HP along with defeating the Shunasaurus. Alright, up next for Team Asia we have an Ulura Titan. This energy sapping beast could be deadly to Pyrus. What's it? Ooh, Pyroso striking back with the Lanzusaurus. Not too much damage dealt though, since Lanzusaurus' power is more in the crit. But if Lanzusaurus does get that crit off, you could feel that the momentum will be swung back in Pyrus' favour. But Team Asia still has that lead. And will be extending that lead as the Lanzusaurus goes down. Okay, last but not least for Pyrus, we have a Gigas. Oh, we haven't seen too much of this guy. Has the Goma move set, so you know it's going to be good.
This Ungura type now is looking pretty strong, and with those energy sapping moves, it could be tough to take down. Especially when it keeps getting ties off. Ooh, a burning dash has been triggered. That could be just what Pyrus needs. But that is not what Pyrus will be getting. There's the tie recovery effect there from the Ulura type. Ooh, second time's the charm though, because a burning dash is coming from Gygus. And this might be lethal. Oosh. Nope. Emerald Garden getting triggered here. Ooh, no Flare Sword. How costly could that be? A Flare Sword. Oh, poo poo, I clicked scissors. Okay, we'll play on. Okay, it would have been a tie. Oh, here comes Heat Eruption. And the Heat Eruption from the Gygas will take out Ulura Titan. So, Max Maximum Pyrus fighting back. And all the more while, look how close that bar is. One more hit from the Gygas, and there'll be Spectral Armor time. Oh, this is a Super Dinosaur, so I need to get my notes out. The Super Dinosaur being the Super Alioramus. Awaken mode on two, so we could... Ooh, it could be... Could come down to the Awaken mode from the Alioramus, or the Spectral Armor from the Gigas. Ooh, Alio Ramus though, getting off that crucial hit. A wall smash is coming. Yum. Boosh. And that will also guarantee Team Asia points, regardless of the result. Ooh, has Alio Ramus killed Gygas? I think this is lethal. Boosh. Whoa, so oh, it is lethal because Volcano Burst coming in there to finish off Gygas. And that's, I'd say, a well-deserved victory for Team Asia there. Definitely had the better of it, but, you know, Maximum Pyrus tried, but, you know, Team Asia looking pretty good. Right. I'll update the table and we'll move on to our next match. Alrighty then, in this matchup we see MEJP10 taking on Engineer Gaiman. And up first for MEJP10 we have a Panoplosaurus. And I have to say, this is such a huge game for Emmy. Like a defeat here will put them on the brink of elimination. In fact, they could actually be eliminated today. That's how big of a match this is. <coughs> Should they lose this match? And Cryonova defeats Ultimate Dino Queen, and well, it will be an el elimination. Anyway, in the red blue corner for Engineer Gaming, we have Acrocanthosaurus. And a win for e Engineer Gaming will take them joint top with Ultimate Dino Queen. A bonus point win will put them top and keep the pressure on Queen and Cryonova. So I definitely think it's a good chance for Engineer Gaming here. Yeah. But, any JP10 is fighting for their lives. And that is, well, they couldn't have asked for a better start. A kamikaze tackle right off the bat. But, the Acrocanthosaurus responds with a hit. Not too much damage dealt, though. Ooh, that's a tie. And the Quake Saber has been triggered. And the Quake Saber be activating. And MEJP10 races into an early 1-0 lead. Okay, up next for Engineer Gaming, we have a Tala Rurus. A Super Tala Rurus. Okay, await the mode on two. A much more attacking Tala Rurus. Doom, doom, doom. That's it. <coughs> but can Engineer Gaming pull this back, or can MEJP10 seize the initiative? Ooh, 
Another kamikaze tackle. Not good for engineer gaming, as that will do a lot of damage. Okay, once. Ooh. Has Talarurus died? Oh my god, he's dead! Well, 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 all of a sudden. Engineer Gaming down to their third dino, that dino being Paris Dino Tech. Ah, Parasaurolophus Dino Tech, I should say. Well, it's gonna have to pull its finger out here because this Panoplosaurus is looking quite unstoppable. And this could be just what MEJP10 needed to get back in the group stage. Well, get back in with a shout of getting that top four. Ooh. Went for the patent kamikaze tackle, but this time, the Parasaurolophus didn't fall for it. Boosh. Ooh, another attempt at kamikaze tackle, but again, the Parasaurolophus ain't having it. Ooh, but the Parasaurolophus will have an atomic bomb. Panoplosaurus still looking pretty impressive. Ooh, that's a tie. But all the more while, that bar is filling up. Oh, the Kamikaze tackle. It would have been lethal for Engineer Gaming, but... The skydive coming in and instead taking out the Panoplosaurus. And finally this thing goes down. I wouldn't count Engineer Gaming out yet because one ultimate leaf could change this whole match. Okay, up next for um, MEJB10 we have a Joe Borrier. A beast not to be messed with. Beware of that. Futaba Cannon, it could do a lot of damage. And Engineer Gaming is very low on health here, so one hit could end the fight. Oh, is it the hit? Ooh. MEJP10 so close to a bonus point win. Ooh, but that makes things interesting because it will be Dino Tecta time. Okay, I need to get the codes out. Alright, it's Dino Tecta time. Could this be the big break Engineer Gaming needs to get back in this match? Well, well, well. This match has got a bit interesting. MEJP10 missing out the chance to get a bonus point win. That's a joke, Boria. Bites the dust. Okay, as for Emmy's last dino, we have an Allosaurus Atrox. And I suspect that this thing will probably finish off the Parasaurolophus. Well, one hit should do it. Doom, 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 doom. Actually, let's have a look. If ultimate move resolves, next round will be a tie. But Parasaurolophus HP is in the red, so I don't. That rule doesn't apply. So we'll play on like normal. Ooh, is it going wrong for MEG? Oh my goodness! And all of a sudden, <laughs> someone posted on the Discord that they, I should do a t-shirt like with me saying, all of a sudden. And oh my god, he almost killed it! Oh. Uh, 
Um, I, 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 I have nothing to say. Right. Absolutely a sensational comeback from Engineer Gaming. Wow. Like, I, I honestly thought that, that, that MEJP10 was going to get that bonus point. But, instead, from absolutely nowhere, Engineer Gaming has won this match. It shows the power of the armored dinosaurs. They're really good, aren't they? I mean, Norm, if Paris's HP was, like, not in the red, then that next round would have been a tie. Like, wow. I mean, it's not all, like, doom and gloom for MEJP10, because they will get a losing bonus point, which I would say just about keeps them in it. But, wow. <laughs> Right, time to update the table, and we'll move on to our final match. But I don't know how I was going to top that. Alright, in this matchup, we see Ultimate Dino Queen taking on Cryo Nova. At first for Ultimate Dino Queen, we have a Uteraptor. And we've definitely seen what this guy can do. Sumai! Or am I thinking about another Uteraptor? Might be thinking about someone else's Uteraptor. Anyway, in the blue corner for Cryo Nova, we have a Lambiosaurus. This... Beast will be will be at a tight disadvantage against that Uteraptor, which could prove crucial in this matchup. If Ultimate Dino Queen manages to take an early lead, it could be a lot hard way back for Crown Over. A win for Ultimate Dino Queen will pretty much assure her place in the last 32. A bonus point win will well pretty much certainly do it. But a win for Crown Nova will put them level on points with Ultimate Dino Queen. A bonus point win will put them clear top. Well, up top and a point clear. Ooh, that's not a good start for Crown Nova, but a very good start for Ultimate Dino Queen. And, as I suspected, this Lambiosaurus is struggling against the Uteraptor. Oh, that's a tie. Ooh, that Definitely suits Crown over a lot more than Queen. Because look at all the health that's gone. Like two ties. That's, that's basically a hit. Ooh, speaking of hits, the Lambiosaurus coming in with a tiebreaker and a crucial critical hit. But the Dino Illusion has been triggered. Oh, that's a tie. But because of the Tappy Jarrahs, Lambiosaurus will take no damage, and this is definitely good for Crown Nova. Okay, the Dino Illusion's gonna activate this, stopping Crown Nova from taking a 1 0 lead. Ooh. Well, the Lambiosaurus definitely put up a fight, but the Uteraptor pulls away and gives Ultimate Dino Queen a 1 0 lead. But it is a slender one. Okay, up next for Crown Nova, we have, well, Crown of Source, of course, and this Cryo is actually interesting because it doesn't have all secret moves, and instead it has Alpha Dice. And we definitely saw how powerful Alpha Dice can be. I think the key for Crown Nova here is to get the hit. They don't want Queen to get this hit. Oh dear. Because we've seen it before in these matches, the first, the opposition's first dino is, well, pretty much within one hit killing range, but the op the other player fails to kill it. Oh, oh dear. Disaster for Cryo Nova, a Mayfly coming in, and this might even kill the Cryo. Oh, I killed it! Well, 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 all of a sudden, Crown Over down to their third dino due to the failure to put away the Uteraptor. Okay, as for Crow's last dino, we have a Chomp, a Super Chomp. Awake a mode on three. Well, Super Chomp's gonna have his work cut out now because it has to defeat this Uteraptor and it has to defeat Queen's second and third dino if Crown Over wants to win this match. But. A saving grace for Crown Nova is that Queen's second dino is a water dinosaur, so this chomp will be at a tight advantage. 
Well, Chomp doing what the Cryo should have done and getting that hit to finish off the Uteraptor. Okay, as for Queen Second Dino, we have an Epista Sela Claudia. And definitely, despite it being a tight disadvantage, do not underestimate this beast because it does have that shockwave which could swing the match Queen's way. Of course, this match so far is going Queen's way, but it can tighten the screw a bit more. Of course, that's only provided if the Epistocela Claudia gets hit, but this, a big Thunder Bazooka coming from Chomp. And yeah, look at that, type advantage. Cryonova striking back in this match. Okay, that was once. Oop, that's a tie. Could have done with a plasma anchor there. Because I think with the failure to activate plasma anchor, I think Queen is going to punish Chomp here. But Counter Blitz has been triggered. As is shock, as a shockwave. Hmm. Okay, that's twice. Okay, so the queen will be going for skizzers. Although I think the best case scenario for Crown over here would be paper because of the counter blitz. But paper is not what they're gonna get. Ooh. How crucial could that hit be? The Apista Sealer Claudia going down, but Ultimate Dino Queen has guaranteed herself a losing bonus point should she lose this match. Well, it won't it won't keep her top. Actually, yeah, it will keep her top. Even if she loses, because she'll be on eight points. Cryonova will be on seven. Anyway, as for Queen's third dino, we have a Rajasaurus, a super Rajasaurus. I don't think we're going to see Awaken Mode though, because if Chomp gets a hit off in Awaken Mode, it could, it'll could probably one-shot the Raj. Ooh, that's a tie. I th that would definitely suit Queen more, despite the Plasma Anchor. Ooh, that will definitely suit Crown over though. A Thunder Bazooka coming from Chomp. At next round, it'll be Awakening time. Okay, that's once the Queen. Well, this is it now. A hit from Cryonova will end this match. Oh, but a hit is not what she's gonna, what they're gonna get. Instead, the Magma Blaster is gonna come from the Rajasaurus. I don't think this will be lethal for Queen though. Nope. Unless Volcano Burst activates. There's the light recovery there. Oh, look at that! Although, what I will say is that unless it's a tie, Cryonova will still be in this match. Ooh, Counter Blitz not needed because a Rajasaurus gets the hit. And it's awakening time for Rajasaurus. Oh, Ultimate Dino Queen getting off the hit, ending the match. But Cryonova definitely put up a fight. Oh my god. Oof. I don't know actually. I if that had gone past half health, that would have been hilarious. Ooh. Um I think it was just below half, so I'm gonna give the losing bonus point to Cryonova. And I think they deserve it for their effort anyway, but it is a win for Ultimate Dino Queen, which pretty much guarantees her place in the last 32. I say pretty much, because it's not 100%, but it's more like 90%. Right, I'll update the table and we'll end the session. Um, yeah, not much to say. Definitely, Ultimate Dino Queen definitely did MEJP10 a favour there by keeping Cryonova within touching distance. But yeah, we have Ultimate Dino Queen up top with 10 points. Seven points clear of the bottom two. And probably, I would say, just about over the line. I mean, who does she play next? Well, she has to play MEJP10 and 2 versus 6. Oh, that's next round. And then the round after that will be against Engineer Gaming. Wait, I thought she played Engineer Gaming. Oh, no, no, no. She played Maximum Power. Sorry, I got a bit confused. Okay. 
but yeah, we have Ultimate Dino Queen up top, and well, I yeah, I'd say I'd say it's guaranteed that she's into the last thirty-two. And well, another win from Queen will pretty much guarantee that she finishes top. And then we have Engineer Gaming in second with seven points. Team Asia all of a sudden coming back into it with six points. Cryonova with five points. And two crucial bonus points as well. And then we have Maximum Pyrus with three. And then MEGP10 finally getting off the mark despite losing with one point. But you never know how crucial that point could be. Ooh, let's have a look. Three versus five. Ooh. Big game this next round. Cryonova taking on Maximum Pyrus. Of course, this could be a big game as well. Engineer Gaming going up against Team Asia. But yeah, I'd say definitely a chance for Queen to wrap up the group next round. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this session. And stay tuned for next time where we will conclude round three. The round three group gate matches with Group H. And until then, this is Strange Gamer signing out.